social protection is an extremely important topic and uh, will for sure uh, remain to be important or become even more important in the future. What is social protection? It is a range of different types of programs that aim to reduce vulnerability to risks. And these can be all sorts of different risks, economic risks or risks related to a stage in your life, like um, being a child, being pregnant, being at old age. And it does so by providing cash or in-kind support, so for example, food assistance, to allow people to meet their most basic needs when they face those risks. And social protection programs take a range of different forms and functions. And what I mean by form is the way to deliver the assistance. So the most common one people know are cash transfers, so basically delivering cash to people. We also have public works programs, which are basically cash for work. So people get cash um, in exchange for labor, which is usually um, to build um, community assets. Um, and in exchange for that, they get short-term employment. Again, with the idea to, to, to help them smooth consumption, to bridge the food gap. This topic is important for the people in, in countries like Ethiopia, where uh, drought and shocks are the underlying factors uh, defining their livelihoods and survival. Social protection is one way to address this challenge and in that sense this topic is very very important. The German Development Corporation so far is already active in quite a number of these of, of countries on um, social protection, but also on rural development and the question on how to bring these things together. It is something where probably more can be done in terms of investments because droughts are also causing quite a lot of um, hardship to, to households deprived of their livelihood. And our objective is to try to build systems which can prevent that, secure the gains which we have made through investments in various uh, development programs and not let them uh, have them lost by, by droughts occurring. Drought resistance should probably have a special role in the exchange because it is something which is happening far more widespread. With climate change and more um, erratic rains, for instance, occurring in southern Africa, the question on how to, how to tackle that um, in a more systematic manner um, is better than essentially reacting short term with humanitarian responses. It's cheaper if we do it beforehand, it's more effective if we do it and we can essentially achieve more gains. When we trial different resilience programs, we really have to quite closely monitor the impact and also what type of delivery mechanisms have led to doing that. So not just focus on the bigger picture and the objective of the program, but also how is it done and what was critical about the way it was implemented that worked out. We need to understand the comparative advantage of different sectors in a wider resilience building agenda. So social protection itself shouldn't really build resilience by itself because I personally think this is impossible. But it could be done within a wider context. And as long as the programs do what they're doing well and are linked up with others, which is easier said than done, but then that is how potentially we could reach resilience to drought.